everybody. Welcome to my face. <laughs> I'm about to go into therapy. I'm exhausted. But I know that I'm going to want to post this video either tomorrow or Friday. And so I wanted to hop on real quick and do... I don't know. Almost like a little disclaimer, I guess. Um, you're, you're going to hear me gripe in this video. You're going to hear me nag a little bit in this video. Because I was frustrated. Um these kits were not cheap and I am a broke college student and so it was just very frustrating to me to have spent that kind of money and not get what I was hoping for. So if you don't want to hear me nag, <laughs> if you don't want to hear me gripe, uh, you might want to click out of this video because I try, I really, I, I try to give the benefit of the doubt, I try to whatever, but you can hear that I'm upset. So, if that's not what you want to listen to, that's totally fine. I completely understand. But I think it's important as a creator on the diamond painting world to share this information with you. Um, there's a lot of mixed reviews on Mary's Diamonds. Um, I, this is just one of them, you know? I just thought it was important to share my side of it even if it's contradictory to others. Like one of my friends, Jade, she loves Mary's Diamonds, has a great experience with them. And I just didn't, I just didn't have a good experience. And so I thought I would share that. I will say the kit that I did get that was correct, I guess. Okay, so, okay, so Arietti. <laughs> Um, I think I mentioned it at some point in the video. I put it under the mattress for a while. It flattened out. It's not great, but it's okay. Like, it's usable. It's fine. Um, and so it's like one of the kits turned out fine. You know, not great quality, but okay. And, um, and I will say that Mary's Diamonds customer service was awesome. I was very happy with um, the way they went about things. They always sort of responded to me in, a, in, uh, in like a fast and really relatable manner where like they were professional, but they were also like, they were just talking to me like I was a person, which like I also, I appreciate from companies. I don't need you to be like a robot, like just talk to me like I'm a human because I am. <laughs> so they were very nice, very responsive, um, there were a few things that I thought that was weird. Like I did end up after, you'll see that I asked um, to like have a replacement of my second kit uh, and they sent out a replacement, but then I, you'll see why I ended up wanting just a refund. And they said, that's totally fine. Um, and they were totally willing to give me a refund. And they said, you know, we're so, oh my God, so sorry, but, there's something going on with their bank accounts to where they couldn't give me a refund until August 1st, which was bizarre to me because it's just like, I don't know. If they were like a really small company, I would get it. They're not. They're like a medium-sized diamond painting company. They're not like Diamond Art Club by any means, but I don't know why... It's probably not important, you know, there's probably some logistical reason to it, and it, you know, there's probably some reason that that makes sense. I just thought that was kind of odd. It's like, you know, they are giving me a refund. Great. I, as long as I get that refund in my bank account, I don't really care. I just thought it was odd that it's like, okay, you can't give me a refund for another, like, few weeks because of something going on with your bank account? I don't know. Anyway, so just wanted to give a quick disclaimer on that. Uh, if you love Mary's Diamonds, that's amazing. I'm happy. I wish I loved this company. I really do because they have some really incredible art, but it's just not for me. I can't recommend them. But if you want to see the debacle, go ahead and keep watching, I guess. But just wanted to give you a fair warning. Um, and I never really, I think I did very briefly point out the idea of the customer service. Um throughout this video and I just wanted to make a note that their customer service was amazing. They did a really great job. Um, I just, I can't, after 
<laughs> it's like even though they were trying to fix the problem they were making mistakes while they were trying to fix the problem I just couldn't I'm just like no it's not for 50 60 bucks a kit I could just get a diamond art club you know what I mean so I just that's just how I'm gonna go about it from here on out so anyway I'm gonna stop blabbering uh I need to go into therapy so we're gonna go do that and uh I guess enjoy the video you'll get to see the unboxings now have fun <laughs> Bye. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Randa from Randa Diamond Paints and today we have a very exciting unboxing that I was not expecting to be getting in the mail today. I honestly thought this was like an AliExpress painting that just showed up at my door. I wasn't even going to unbox it on camera. It was in like that black trash bag material and I took it out of the black trash bag, realized what it was and went, oh, I gotta film this. So today we have my very first order from Mary's Diamonds. Now, I have heard unbelievable mixed reviews on this company. Some people have had the most horrific experiences ever with this company, and some people have had amazing experiences with this company. If you aren't aware, obviously this is a diamond painting company. Oh, excuse me. They do legally license all of their artwork, so you get legally licensed prices and they do ship from China. Um, some people have had extreme problems with the quality and with the customer service and whatever. I didn't even have to deal with customer service for this. I just ordered it and it showed up. Um, this took probably at least a month to show up though, since ordering. So like I said, they do ship from China. So that's not anything that I am upset about. Uh, they do part of the re so they actually said my order was coming late and part of the reason they said it was coming late was because of the new they wanted to make sure that all of their orders were going out in their new boxes because some of the biggest problems that they were having were that people's boxes were showing up so crushed and mangled that it was actually affecting the diamond paintings and so they sorry I just got a phone call and it interrupted my recording how rude of them am I right anyway um one of their biggest problems was that their diamond paintings were getting crushed and ruined in the mail because of their boxes. So they came out with these new like three ply cardboard boxes. They said that my shipment was gonna be getting to me a little late because they wanted to make sure that all of their orders were going out in said new boxes. I was like, yeah, cool, great, whatever. I'd rather get my painting a little late and in better condition than not. Now, this box is a little bit beat up. You can see dents in the middle and stuff here, but for the most part, it still has its full square shape. It is a poured glue canvas, so I can't imagine that it's actually damaged. Um, you know, my Distracted by Diamonds boxes always come all sorts of bang to hell. So it's like, as long as the painting is not damaged by it, then I don't have a problem with this at all. But it's like, yeah, it would be nice if it wasn't banged up to holy heaven, but as long as the painting is okay, I don't have a problem with it. Um, but I bet if they were to ship this box in another box like Diamond Art Club does, they wouldn't have a problem at all. It's the fact that they ship it in that black trash bag material from China. But again, I'm not really complaining. But it's like, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but it's also not the end of the world, you know? It still looks okay. Okay. Let's get into the painting. So here's my little serial number, MR13112-04. There was a lot of talk in uh, in Life with Lindsay's Mary's Diamonds about the serial number that was on it. So just documenting that. Okay, so the end does look a little bit crushed. <gasps> oh geez, it's really shoved in there. Oh my God. Okay, okay. That's funny, I ordered this. I wonder where the other one is. So this is the painting. You can kind of see it in there. This is this called Arietti um, by Fizzy Popcake? It has 41 colors and it is a 60 by 60. I ordered something else first and that's what I thought this one was, but I, I ain't mad about it. We got the same serial number here on the package as well as on the canvas. Oh, okay, so 
it is a little bit banged up. So the end is a little bit crinkled. There's like a dent right in here and this end is crinkled as well. Let's see if I can get the drills and stuff out. There's the tool kit. Okay, drills. Anything else come in here? No, okay. So let's take a look at the tool kit real quick. Again, I haven't ever gotten a Mary's Diamonds kit before, so I'm gonna open it out of curiosity's sake. So we've got this great big like boat tray, white boat tray. It doesn't have a spout, but it has the really high sides, which is nice. Two plates of pink wax. A clear sparkly pen with a grippy single placer and a skinny, it doesn't say. This looks kind of like a nine placer, but it's a skinny one, so that's awesome. And then, oh, it also comes with a four placer, beautiful. And then a pair of pretty gold tweezers, look at those. I like the tweezers, they're pretty. <laughs> So that's the tool kit, pretty basic tool kit, but very nice nonetheless. Everything you could need and more. Did I order this in squares? I did, so this is a square kit. I couldn't exactly remember. There are a ton of drills, look at those colors. They are all individually bagged. Um, I will be looking at the drills, especially the darker colors, just to see if I can see any trash. Again, new company, but it's a great big bag of drills with the same serial number on them. I don't believe that this comes with any ABs. Oh God, this poor canvas. So it doesn't look, oh geez. It's not, oh you guys, okay. So, let's see if I can, so it is pretty much laying flat. but I'm gonna need to like put this under my mattress or something because it's just, it's kind of laying flat, but it's also not because there's so many like, it's just crushed. I don't wanna say there's like rivers or anything in it because there's not, but it's just a little crushed. Anyway, this is the piece that I got. Like I said, it's called Arietti. Um, it doesn't say anywhere on here, like it doesn't talk about, this is by the, it does have branding at the top, it has the picture and stuff. This is by a artist named Fizzy Pop Cake. Oh my god, they have a few of her pieces and every single one of them is absolutely gorgeous. I love her art. Um, the symbols, let's just real quick, these symbols look incredibly clear and beautiful. I really, really love that. Um, it looks awesome. God, even the plastic is all wrinkled up. Like, look at this bottom, you guys. Look at how just, like, kind of mangled it is. I think I can, I think this is fixable, though. I don't think this is, like, I don't know. I might still shoot an email to Mary's Diamonds and be like, yo, is that a, oh my god. Okay, yeah, that's just the plastic cover. I was like, wait, is that a bubble? No, that's just the plastic cover. Um, I might still reach out to them and be like, yo, um, like, it's, it's not horrible, but it's not great, you know? That, like, you're paying for licensed artwork. So this was, like, 40 or 50 bucks for this canvas, something along the lines of that. And so it is a little bit disappointing to have your canvas come sort of beat up. But like I said, this is very, very, very fixable. This isn't anything irreversible. You could like iron it, you could put it under your bed, you could put it under like under your mattress to flatten it out. You could put it under books. I bet it would have some help with like, you peel back. Let's see if this, let's see, you know what? On camera, let's see if this helps. The canvas is wrinkled. That's just that, and this stuff is stuck. Oh no. Why is the plastic not coming up? What the hell? Oh, 
I'm sorry, I know you can't see what I'm doing. I'm trying to pull some, uh, okay. Oh, oh. Some of the poor glue is wanting to come up with the, oh my God. Oh my God. The poor glue is literally trying to come up with the plastic. Oh, that is a river. Yeah, I don't know you guys. That's not. Oh jeez, why is it? Can, I don't know if you can actually see it from that far away, but you can see as I'm pulling it back, like right around here, the glue is extremely sticky, which is amazing. But it's like this plastic, you can't just like, like it's stuck on there. I'm having to like forcefully pull it up and it's trying to pull some of the glue with it in certain spots. Oh my goodness. That's not supposed to happen. I've never, ever seen that happen before. Okay. Oh my God. It's like it's still, oh God, look at all that glue that came up right there. Oh my God. Did they not? let this cure or something like why and because the plastic the, the canvas is all wrinkled the plastic is having a really hard time as well you guys i just don't know how i feel about this i like that they have the scalloped and perforated edges so that it doesn't fray the back of the canvas is is decently soft it's like a cotton or a linen or something and the canvas feels like a good quality material, but you guys, that box in the trash bag material didn't do crap. And what is going on with the adhesive? Okay, it looks like, cause I don't even know if you can see that, but it's literally pulling glue up with it, right? You can't see what I'm doing, right there. It's pulling glue up with it and it's, it's still sticky, but it's pulling glue up. I don't know, you guys. I might reach out to them just to let them know and that it's like, hey, I got what I'm pretty sure is one of your new boxes. Cause it does feel like a decent quality box, but getting put in that trash bag material gives, doesn't give the box any, anything, any sort of protection. It's just sad because it's such a beautiful canvas other than the fact that it's all crushed and I have, oh, excuse me. I have no idea what's going on with the adhesive and why it's pulling up, but this canvas has been beat to holy hell pretty much. <sighs> I'm gonna put it under my mattress and see if I can get it to lay flat. And I'll keep you updated. I don't know, you guys. I'll also like I and I'll, like I said, I'll also reach out to them and keep you updated on that as well. I haven't heard great things about Mary's Diamonds customer service, but geez, I don't know. It's like I don't. I kind of just to see if they would say anything, like if they would have anything to say or do anything about it or what. But I'm not. It's like, there's no point in asking for another canvas because it's going to show up just like this one. So, because there's nothing they can do about, I mean, there is something they can do about the way it's shipped, but shipping another one exactly like it isn't going to fix anything. You know what I mean? Let me take a look at these drills really quick. I'm not going to show you all the colors or anything. I just want to look at the, the dark drills. A lot of people have problems with the baggies because of static. I don't have that problem. Okay, so they're, they don't have 29 is 991. Oh no, 26, sorry. 26 is 939, that's what I thought. I was like, this is 939, are you kidding me? So here's some 939. Doesn't look like there's 310 in this canvas, no. So this would be the darkest color. I don't see any trash. 
just like originally looking at it. So that's a good thing. Yeah. A lot of people really hate the plastic baggies because of static. I haven't really had any problems with that. Maybe it's because, so I live in Colorado and so it's not particularly hot, particularly cold or anything. So maybe, but these are like vacuumed sealed in there. That's interesting. I don't know, we'll see. A lot of people really hate that though. So, cause I, I know Diamonds and Washi has a lot of problems with it. Look at that cute little baby pink. So yeah, but the drill quality, Ooh. Like I always say, it's hard to tell off of just first glance in the bag. You really don't know until you put them in your tray and kind of start putting on, them on the canvas is when you can really tell. But they look, off of first glance, they look good. I know you can't be here to see the canvas with me, but what would you think about this? That the canvas comes kind of crushed to hell. The clear plastic is, for whatever reason, sticking to the adhesive. I wonder if that's like a curing thing, if maybe they just didn't let it sit and cure long enough before putting the plastic over it. Because in some spots, it comes off easier than others. And so I don't really, I don't know what's causing that. I've never seen or heard of anything like that before. But it does have some, they're not exactly rivers, they're like canyons. That they're just like these big ripples in the canvas that like would cause the drills to not lay flat. Which is why I am going to put it under my mattress and see what that does. Um, or maybe even just leave it out for a minute. Because it, 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 it is laying flat, just it's crushed. It just got crushed in the mail. So anyway, guys, I guess that is it for me today. Um, I don't know. I'm a little bit disappointed that like I was really, you know, that I've heard some bad things about this company, but I was really hoping that maybe with their new boxes and whatever that it would show up and I would go, oh my God, yay, another company that we can get legally licensed whatever from that has good kits that's not Diamond Art Club and, <laughs> um, as much as I love Diamond Art Club, don't get me wrong, it's still nice to have other companies, like, with other artists to choose from, but, Jesus, just, it's just crushed. I just, it makes me sad. I'm not angry at Mary's Diamonds or whatever, it just makes me sad, because it's like, if it weren't for the fact that this canvas was crushed, and it weren't for the fact that something weird is going on with the adhesive. Really, if it wasn't for the fact that it was crushed and that I knew that sending one again would be crushed, I would reach out and go, hey, do you know why my pl clear plastic is sticking to the adhesive? And maybe talk about having them send me out another one. But it's like, I know if they were to send me out another one, the canvas would still be crushed. Like that's just, that's just how they're shipped and there's not really much you can do about it until they decide to change that. And they, that's the sad part is they did just change it. They just changed the boxes. They just added more whatever and the canvases are still showing up crushed. Which is why I think I'm gonna reach out to them and just say, hey, I just wanted to let you know my canvas came and it's still crushed. Um, just so that they're aware because it, you know, they were taking feedback by getting a better box, but they need a box in a box, you know? So anyway, I'll keep you guys updated in this video about what happens. That is my first Mary's Diamonds unboxing. I do have a second order from them coming. So we'll see how that one comes, question mark. Okay, so I know you weren't expecting a second part to this video, but my second Mary's Diamonds kit that I was talking about just came in the mail. Um, and so I thought I would open it just because I'm curious as to if the quality is still the same with this one as it was with the other one. I did email them yesterday. I haven't heard a response yet. Oh, geez. <laughs> this box does not look in any better condition. It actually looks in worse condition. So I'm a little um, scared. 
I did not know that this was here yet, or I would have just unboxed it with the other one, but you know what? This, it's fine. This is an image I'm really excited about though. The same that I was with the last one. It has a dragon in it and I love dragons. If you can hear my animals, don't mind them. Hi guys. <laughs> I'm worried because the qual the that last that last canvas just was banged to holy heck. Still haven't heard from Mary's Diamonds. Don't know if I'll ever hear from Mary's Diamonds. We'll see. So what do we got? Okay. Oh, actually, actually, the canvas looks much better because it wasn't so like vacuum sealed in the box like the other one was. It looks like we got a crease right here. Can you see that, this crease like that? So I'm a little worried about that, but otherwise like the edges look really nice and all of that. So yeah, we got a little bit of creasing going on. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, let me dump the drills out, hello. We got another toolkit with the same thing that I just showed you. And then, uh, hello, here we go. Drills. I keep seeing people have these come with inventory sheets. Um, I don't know where my inventory sheets are. I haven't gotten inventory she sheets with either one of these kits. So I don't know if that's something they stopped doing or what. But look at these colors. So this one is round. The other one was square. Here's the serial number that matches with the canvas. I feel like if I had had, usually when I have the option to pick a drill type, I pick square because that's my favorite. I might have just wanted to try both though, which is why I picked round for this. But anyway, this is the, the piece. Oh no, her face. Oh no. That is not, that is not gonna be cute. Oh no. What size did I pick this in? A 40 by 70, that's a... You can't even see? That's kind of disappointing actually. So... Hi, Karumba Mary's Diamonds. You pissing me off. So here, the image, I know you can't see it because it's 70 centimeters tall, so I can't fit it in camera, but the image is a girl sitting with a dragon. There's like this beautiful sunset in the background. Uh, this is supposed to be a really pretty castle um, that you can't see. Uh, the dragon is supposed to have eyes that you can't see. And the girl is supposed to have a face that you can't see. I don't know. That really sucks. It's like, I don't know, I'm gonna have to go and look back at the listing and see like exactly what I ordered. If like, you know, I guess make sure that this is what I ordered and that maybe I just should have ordered a bigger size and that's why the rendering is off because this ain't it. Oh, what is in my, can oh my goodness. There's like a little black spot in my canvas. Yeah, there's like a little piece of fuzz. The, again, the symbols look extremely clear. Uh, the canvas is a nice quality. The sticky is very sticky and I don't seem to, yeah, I'm not having the problem that I did with the other kit where like the glue was sticking to the plastic cover. So that's good at least. Yeah, I'm not having that problem at all like I was with the last one. But the rendering of this is like, honestly, just kind of horrendous. That's sad. Is that even something I can blame them for? I don't know. It's just sad. I was so excited for this image and it's just not going to be good because you can't see her face. She doesn't have a face. Hmm. Well, okay. It's like there are some parts that look really good. So like the wings of the dragon look really good. And like the bottom of her dress looks really good. You can see like that rendering is nice. The sky looks really nice. But oops, sorry, didn't mean to bump the camera. 
Um, the sky looks really, really pretty, bunch of pretty colors up there, but the fact that you can't see the castle and you can't see anybody's faces is sad. And it is only 40 centimeters wide, but it's 70 centimeters long. Again, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look back at the listing again, see what options I could have ordered, see exactly what I ordered. I feel like I ordered either the medium size or the largest size, which, which means you should be able to see her face. You should be able to see the castle. It should, like, I don't know. Anyway, that's Mary's Diamonds. Um, I will actually, you know what? Yeah, so the drills look good. I was just looking at the colors. I didn't even look at the quality. The colors are really beautiful. There's some really gorgeous colors in this, and the quality looks really nice. Um, they're round, so I'm not worried. Oh my god, there's ABs! Look, do you guys see that blue AB? Maybe that's why I ordered round, is because it came with an AB. Well, there's another one. So there's that, like, dark blue AB, and then there's, like, a... I know you can't really see. Do you see that, like, lighter turquoise in there? That's an AB. That's cool. So this kit does come with ABs. I do really like that. Um, I was gonna add some in anyway if it didn't, but... Uh, <laughs> Is it even? <laughs> oh yeah, oh there's three ABs. There's also a purple AB. Where's the purple AB? Where is it? I don't see it. I see blue, blue. Okay, now we gotta see if we can find the purple AB. Cause it says there's three and if there's not three, then that would suck. So this is AB, this is 48. Oh, so this is what they're considering the like purple AB. I guess that is kind of purple. It looked kind of dark blue to me for whatever reason. So that's the purple one. Then this is 50, 30, 38, 46. So like this sort of turquoise one I was talking about. And then it says, okay, here's the third one. Okay, so you do get three ABs. Here's 49. This is 996 AB really pretty so some really pretty blue ab's and they're charted in like that's awesome but it's not gonna matter if the rendering of the picture looks looks like crap you know i caramba again if it's my fault because of the size that i chose then that's my fault but if like if this is the rendering you get for like 40 50 dollars like that's ridiculous at that point Okay, well, like I said, that's Mary's Diamonds. <laughs> we'll see. I'll let, of course, I'll let you know in this video if they ever respond to me. Um, we'll see. I, I don't know. I haven't heard great things about their customer service, so I'm a little bit worried about the fact that if they will ever respond to me. Um, but we'll see. I, my, I, like I have said in previous videos, my videos usually go up a few weeks late after I film them. So if I don't have a response by the time of posting this video, then like they, they ain't responding. Like that's just the end of the story. Um, and I think I paid through PayPal. So if I don't hear from them within the next few days, I might just request a refund on, on PayPal because it just, uh, <laughs> it's just like for the amount of money you spend, this is not the quality that I think anybody would be expecting from a company like this. And it sucks because they have some really wonderful artists and some really beautiful artwork. Like I said, I was super excited about both of these kits and they both have their flaws. And for, you know, the same amount of money you would spend on a diamond art club, like just buy a freaking darn diamond art club at that point. It's just a little disappointing. So... I'll let you know if they ever respond, um, but if they, you know, obviously if they don't, and even if they do, I don't know if I'll ever be purchasing from Mary's Diamonds again, probably not, because this is not, that's just not worth the money in my opinion, so um, do what you want with that information. <laughs> that is just my personal opinion. If you've had different experiences with Mary's Diamonds or whatever, then that's awesome. I wish I was having a different experience with Mary's Diamonds, but, um, but yeah, it's kind of, it's still, it's not like wrinkled to hell, but it's still, 
crinkled and wrinkled and not in the greatest condition. It is in better condition than the other one though. So, but like I said in the last clip, I've heard really mixed reviews. Some people have amazing experiences with Mary's and some people have not as amazing experiences like me. So if you're curious, you could try them for yourself, but just sort of a buyer beware that it is possible that your kits could not come in what you're expecting, so. All right, you guys. I am almost positive that this is the wrap up to my Mary's Diamond Saga. This is a, I don't know, I would say a few weeks after the last clip that you just saw where I unboxed them originally. I did reach out to Mary's Diamonds. Um, they did respond. They were very nice. Sorry, I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> and so I'm out of breath. But they were very nice. Um, they said for Arietti, the one with the girl, that I that they were sorry about because it was an old box and whatever. And I was like, that's weird. You said it was gonna come in a new box, but okay. And so they said, just put it under some heavy books or a mattress and we swear to you, it'll flatten out. They were like, we like we did a test of this and like intentionally tried to damage a canvas as much as we could. And we were able to get it like 97% flattened out or whatever. And so I said, okay, fine. I ended up putting Arietti under my bed, <laughs> like under the mattress. They said to do it for like a couple days, I think, either 24, 30 and something, for a couple days. I had her under there for like two weeks, <laughs> just to really make sure that I flattened her out. And I pulled it out and it was like 99% flattened out. There were maybe still a few little kinks, but also I don't have like a flat underneath my bed. It's like slats. And so I think it could have partially been from that or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool, this is fine. But about the rendering of Red Dragon, Red Dragon Fantasy, I think it's called. They were like, yeah, that rendering ain't it. <laughs> like, I completely understand. It's not a good size. Um, and so they were like, we'll send you a new one and we'll send it to you in a bigger size so that the rendering will hopefully be better. I said, okay, great. So this is that new kit that they sent me. If this doesn't turn out right, I will be contacting them again. I will be asking for a refund, but I'm hoping that this turns out good. Is this Mary's Diamonds? It is, okay. I was like, just to make sure I didn't blabber on about Mary's Diamonds and then have this not even be Mary's Diamonds. No, it is. Okay, so let's hope that this turns out good. Okay, so the box is still, like you saw, it came in that like black trash bag material. Let's make sure there's not anything else in there actually for some reason. No, I don't see anything. Um, the box is a little bit beat up, but it's not horrible. We got a little bit of crushing up there and it has a dent in the middle but the other one has a dent in the middle so hopefully it's okay it feels like a decent box let's see i am i'm still a little worried i'm very happy with how mary's diamonds handled it that they were pretty good at um responding and they had uh whoever responded to me was very nice and i appreciate that they did, however, they said they were gonna send me a new one. And then like a week later, I was like, hey, you said you were gonna send me a new one or whatever. And they were like, yeah, yeah, we just shipped it out. Sent out a tracking number. I said, okay, great. Tracking number didn't work. And so I reached back out to them and said, hey, the tracking number doesn't work. Do you have any tracking information? And they said, yeah, yeah, it's almost there. And sent me another tracking link and that one worked. I've heard this hap that this has happened a few times with people that have ordered from Mary's Diamonds and I'll admit it's weird <laughs> but as long as the box gets to my house it's not the end of the world in my opinion there is the new whatever it's called serial number I'm a little worried that this box is a little banged up I'm a little concerned uh, it might be okay all right Ugh. Oh, they did a, oh, the ribbon's kind of new. My last one didn't have ribbon. All right, the box is empty. Here's our toolkit with my favorite gold tweezers. Honestly, I just am obsessed with the gold tweezers. <laughs> um, we, you already saw what was in here. I'm not gonna open it. And then, oh, do you, I don't think you can even see that from your angle. Do you see that divot? Oh no. 
Oh no, I'm scared. This one might have to go under the mattress as well. It is nice that they have it all covered in plastic and stuff. This bow is really cute. Look at that. 10 out of 10 cute. Let's dump the drills out. It still does not come with an inventory sheet. Oops, sorry, I bumped you, which I always wish it did. Here are the giant pack of drills. Oh, wait a half a minute. They didn't. <sighs> oh. I swear to God. <laughs> so here's where my thought process just went. These are square drills, which is fine. I love square, but I ordered Red Dragon Fantasy in rounds. My last one was in rounds. This is also not the right color scheme. So I said, wait a minute. <laughs> they sent me Arietti again. They sent me the wrong kit. <sighs> so now I have two Ariettes. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. <sighs> you guys, I just... I don't, you know what? I appreciate them trying to fix it. I'm not saying they're a horrible company by any means. I'm not trying to hate on Mary's Diamonds. But honestly, in my, in my honest opinion, this is not worth it. For the price that you're paying, to have to jump through all of this is just not worth it. That it's like, I can buy a Diamond Art Club for almost, for pretty much the same price and get a better quality and a better whatever, like... This canvas, if I were to keep this, you can see the top is kind of banged up. This would have to go under a mattress. And I never once have had to put my Diamond Art Club under a mattress. <sighs> the sticky is still really good. You know, it's really clear. They have some really wonderful artwork. It's rolling up on me. <laughs> I just, I'm so frustrated. It's like, I love the scalloped edges. They have nice canvases, whatever. But I'm just so frustrated at this point that it's like, it's been weeks that I have just been, it's like, I just want a refund. I do. I just, I'm sick of this. I am obviously keeping the original Arietti that I have flattened out. That one, you know, it's like, if you... <sighs> It's just kind of a gamble that it's like you can get a kit like this and put it under the mattress and it's wonderful and that's great. But for like 50, 60 bucks plus shipping, it's just not worth it to have to jump through these kinds of hoops when you could just get a Diamond Art Club. I know I'm so Diamond Art Club biased. I understand that. But like <laughs> I'm biased because they have good quality and they have they're a company that I can really and truly stand behind and I would not stand behind the quality of this company and that is so sad because they have licensed artwork and they just oh it's just sad it just makes me sad it just I want them to improve because I want to be able to recommend this shop to you and I just can't because I can't imagine I'll ever be ordering for Mary's Diamonds again unless I hear that they change so this is just I don't know. Um, maybe I'll give this diamond painting to my sister because I don't know what else to do with it. Maybe they'll want me to send it back to them. That's fine. I don't know. I'll have to talk to them and see. So I'll put an aftermath of what happened if I got my money back or whatever right here. I will put that up on the screen. I'm just frustrated, you guys. I just am. I just want a refund. I want my 50 bucks back. <laughs> buy a diamond art club with it <laughs> like this is just ridiculous i'm just tired of it so that's mary's diamond i'm not gonna blabber on much more about it because it's just frustrating for everybody um that's my experience my personal experience with time with diamond art club sorry with mary's diamonds if you've had a better experience great awesome love that if you've had a worse experience then i'm sorry I really am because I'm feeling the pain of life with Lindsay right now where she was so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I 
really am. So I wish I could recommend this company to you guys, but I can't. I just can't. And that's really sad to me that I really, really want to. And I want to love this and I want to love this company and I just can't do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is just my personal opinion. Like I said, if you have a different one, more kudos to you. Like, I love that. I love that this, if this company works for you, I love that. But I can't, I can't justify it. I can't. Besides the gold tweezers. I love those damn tweezers. <laughs> Anyways, that is the end of this video. That is my experience with Mary's Diamonds. I hope you enjoyed watching this or that it was helpful in any way, shape, or form to your purchase. And I will see you guys next time with hopefully a more positive video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.